Hello everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to another edition of the Bibliophiles. Today I'm going to be talking about Ender's Game, um, a novel t a novel about uh, basically war and growing up and you know all that other stuff. Um, first thing I'd like to say is um, I really enjoyed the characters. There's the I mean essentially the story is um, there's this great big war against this alien civilization that everyone calls the buggers which are I guess a race of like these bugs or whatever and um, it's been going on for supposedly like hundreds of years and now they're trying to defeat them by training this, this uh, like the world's greatest general that the history of the universe has ever seen <clears throat> and that one is Ender Wigan himself and, um, you know, so they're putting him through, like, so many different, so they, like, genetically engineered him to be, like, the greatest general ever, and now they're, and then he goes off to a battle school where he's taught even more tactics, where he can, where he can, where he can like, uh, find, more finely hone his skills and so forth, <clears throat> and, um, and, uh, so essentially, like, this movie, this thing, I think could have been like really screwed up because Ender is kind of uh, Mary Sueish because he's overcoming almost every uh, obstacle perfectly. You know, there's even one instance where he supposedly uh, gets like this army of like complete rookies and misfits, and he somehow managed to get them operating in like perfect efficiency and winning like seven battle seven mock battles in seven days not getting a single casualty in any one of them and um, you know I think it could have been easily like screwed up but throughout the entire time there are like plenty of some characters are like on his side and there are plenty of other characters who are really jealous of him and are, in one case like tried to kill him but <clears throat> which is which is why I think this whole thing is like handled really well, and um, there also there are plenty of other really interesting characters too. Like uh, there's Peter who gets the idea of, like infiltrating the network so they can like prove to the world how smart he is, as well as, as uh, you know, so they can so we can like get into the government and become like the guy in charge of everything. And there's his sis. Then there's um, his sister Valentine, who's uh, like more peaceful and so forth. And um, <clears throat> plenty of other characters in the battle school, such as um, Bean uh, Dink, another character. And there's, uh, then there's uh, the teacher Colonel Graff, <clears throat> and um, like all of them are pretty interesting in their own different way, and. Um, then, like, I, I don't want to, like, spoil anything, you know, because we kind of, you know, in the end, um, you know, of course, he, like, fight, he, um, like, I thought it was kind of cool how they made it all into, like, sort of a game, kind of, and, um, you know, like, everything was pretty well explained, and, you know, of course, in the end, he, you know, beats everyone, there's not really much, like, you know, like, beats all the buggers and so forth, and, like, it's, uh, it's just, uh, <clears throat> and then I like, like, how they, um, he handles the, each situation, it shows him, it tells you how he's feeling about everything, um, <clears throat> overall, it's just a really great novel, final rating, five out of five. You know, it's an interesting story. There are plenty of interesting, cool characters that are fully fleshed out. It's just an overall great book, and I highly recommend it to anybody who'd be interested in watching it. Or, <clears throat> I mean, reading. Anyway, um, <clears throat> till next time, I'm your host, signing off. See ya.